Hey guys, Eric D. Killam one here, and uh, this is my review of the Brass Eagle Stingray. Now, uh, truthfully, this gun is, well, I have two of them. One's my dad's, one's mine. Um, I bought both of them. But, uh, this is the clear model. Uh, the other one we have is the black model. Honestly, this gun, for really how how it's made how it looks how it's made this gun is a lot better than it looks um the trigger pull is a bit long however it does shoot a good standard semi-auto rate uh the barrel is very short really great for close combat especially since the gun is so short and it's tank out the back so you could run anywhere from a 12 gram Changer, which is what originally came um, in the kit if you bought this gun, and I have the one that goes with it um, in a different kit right now. So, sorry I don't have that out here. Um, but you could change the whole length of this gun. So, let's say you're going to play CQB, this would be a perfect gun. Um, it's nice and short. It's a lot lighter than any of your other semi-autos. I mean, it may look like it'd be heavy, but the majority of the gun is plastic, so it's even lighter than your 98 Customs. Um, it's not as light if you were running a pump gun or something. But uh, if you want the advantage of semi-auto, but still have a generally light gun, plus you can completely balance it out. You could run remote on this and use it like a pistol. I mean, that, you know, that would work out pretty well. Uh, just run like a 50 round hopper on it and run it like that. Or, you know, run a 200 round on it and play on a short field or play wherever you're playing. It does work out pretty well in woods ball. Um, thing is, it's kind of so um, easily put together. Strangely, I have never broken paint in this gun. I've even shot RPS Premium out of this gun, which broke in my A5, which broke in my 98 Custom. It didn't break in this, which sadly I've got this for 10 bucks at a pawn shop and the other one for 10 bucks at a different pawn shop. I mean, really crazy. Uh, for your standard semi-auto, this gun has to rate up there with me. Anywhere from, it would rate about a 7 of 10 for me out of a standard semi-auto. It's light, it's got a bunch of different possibilities you can run with it. The barrel length is a little bit of a disadvantage. However, you can find barrels for this all the time on YouTube. Uh, not on YouTube, on eBay. Um, the gun pulls completely apart by pins. Um... And I'm thinking about getting uh, Cushman, uh, Cushman Custom Creations. You can find them here on YouTube. They make a ton of different stuff. Great company. I'll be getting a couple MP40s from them later this year for Oklahoma D-Day 2011. I'm playing German this year. I have a grease gun kit from them. And I might be getting him to turn this into an M1, uh, possibly, or doing it myself. I'm hoping to have him do it because he has parts on hand and everything. Um, I do have a mini 14 stock if I don't get the money and I can figure out how to do that. But uh, there you go, my review on the um, Brass Eagle Stingray and possibly some upcoming ideas for it and some suggestions if you guys have one.